In this lab, we took a 24 and 3 8 by 2 and 3 8 by 3 16 inch plywood beam, simply supported at both ends, and applied various loads to it to measure the deflection. We measured the standing resting position for the beam at an inch and a half above the table for normal unloaded position. For our first test, we applied a 1 kilogram load using a weight directly to the center of the beam and measured the deflection to be 0 0.375 inches. For the second test, we applied a 2 kilogram load to the center of the beam. We did this by applying two weights side by side and measured the deflection this time to be 0.75 inches. For our third and final test, we applied a third weight, also of one kilogram, to the two weights already there to provide a three kilogram load and measured the deflection to be 1.0625 inches. After measuring and recording the actual deflections obtained by the loads, we use the equations in Appendix A23 Case A and the properties of the wood to determine the predicted deflection. For our 1 kilogram load, we predicted the deflection to be 0 0.368 inches, which was actually rather quite close to our actual deflection of 0 0.375 inches, with an error percentage of only 1.87%. For our 2 kilogram load, we predict the deflection to be 0 0.737 inches, which was also rather quite close to our actual deflection of 0 0.75 inches. This error percentage was only 1.73%. For our third and final load of 3 kilograms, we predict the deflection to be 1.105 inches. However, our actual deflection was 1.063 inches. This error percentage was a little greater, measuring 4%. Overall, we were pleasantly surprised by just how close our predicted deflection measurements came to our actual deflection measurements, going to show just how useful and accurate the equations in the back of the book really are.